All right, for this video, we're going to build a maze in Tinkercad. So let's just grab our favorite red square. And let's place it on the corner. And let's hit F so we zoom in. I'll try to remember to talk you through this. And let's click the corner so we can then tell it to be one pixel thick. And now we've got, uh, actually we've got 20 by 20, so I want to make this, I uh, want to make it 10 tall. And click that, and we'll use shift, right click to back up. Click on that, click on that, say 10. I'm just typing it in with the keyboard. And let's see, let's drag out another one and do the same sort of thing. We'll grab this corner, I'll hold shift. We'll stop when we get to 10. Then I'm gonna grab uh, this and just bring it back to where it's. So now we got basically uh, a wall going vertical, a wall going horizontal. And I think I'll let this be the entrance to the maze. And let's go control D, that makes a duplicate. Now left arrow key, hit over. And we want to stop right when it's at that line right there. See that line right there? And if you, now that there's a pattern, because I hit Control D and then I moved it over here, if I hit Control D again, it's just going to keep going. So if I back out and keep hitting Control D, I can basically fill in my entire wall very quickly. And let's do the same thing over here. I'm going to click this one and hit F so it zooms in. I'll go Control D, I'll right arrow, stop there, hit Control D, Control D, zoom out, Control D, Control D. I'll just keep going. And yeah, that makes it really easy. Now I'm going to click on uh, an empty spot and hit F. Whoops, I guess I still had that selected. So I'm going to deselect, just click anywhere in the empty spot and hit F, it'll zoom out. And now I'm going to try to position this so I can select this entire wall and hit Control D. And then I'm going to up arrow. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to hold Shift and it'll jump a lot faster. Now I'll hit F to zoom in. It looks like I've gone too far. Um, still got it selected. Just want to make sure I'm right up to the edge there. Let's, oops, undo. I guess right arrow is what I need to do. Okay, so there. Now it's perfect. Um, let me click somewhere empty and hit F. And maybe I'll position myself like so. So I can then select this. Whoops. Now I want to select this entire wall just that okay control d i'll hold shift and right arrow all the way over um that's probably right but let's zoom in and just see zooming in with the scroll of the mouse looks like i'm off by one so if i position myself like that you can see I'm, i need to move up one and with that, I think that perfects it. So I'm going to click off, click this one, hit Control D, and then right arrow. And <clears throat> suppose at some point I've got to decide where my exit's going to be. Maybe I'll make it be this corner over here. Um, let me back out. I'll have that be the exit. All right, so now I just need to build all the in-betweens. Let's hit home so it throws us back to uh, an advantageous perspective. Now, maybe I'm going to do something like grab these three, control D, arrow key over. I just arrow keyed to the left while I was holding shift and it jumped 10. So that was convenient. Um, I think now I'll also I'll select these two, control D. I'll hold shift while I arrow key over and probably grab these four. 
and um, I'll hit control D hold shift arrow key to the left and now I probably want to grab this and go control D and then arrow key down that way the player has to go through the circuitous route and now maybe I'll make them go a ways this way. I'm going to select these four. Hit control D, arrow key up. I'm holding shift when I arrow key up, and it's jumping 10 at a time. So that's very convenient. Uh, selecting these two walls, control D, arrow key to the left. Up there. Um, I think I'll grab these. Or maybe I just got an idea. Maybe I'm going to go control D arrow key up and um, now I'll grab these two control D arrow key to the left uh, arrow key down holding shift of course and then I'll go control D uh, looks like it if you notice what it just did I, I hit control D when I was over here and then I placed it here and by hitting control D again, it thinks that there's a pattern. So it just threw another copy over there. But that's okay. I can just hold shift and arrow key up and arrow key over. And then I, let's see, I'm going to be going, whoops, let me scroll back out. So I'll be going this way and that way and that way. And then uh, come around the corner. Yeah, that, that'll be good. So I'll hit control D and whoops. Control D and then arrow key over and down. Uh, hit Control D again. Uh, there we go. Now I need to put a wall across here. So probably the easiest way to do that would be to select these four. Control D, arrow key, like so. And essentially, you, I, I hope you're getting the idea of how to take advantage of the pieces that you already have on the board. Um, let's see, where should I have the person go now? Maybe I'll select these four and then deselect that. So you see what I did? I selected these. I just want the four across the top. I don't want this. If you hold shift, it'll let go of it. And I hit control D and then I can arrow key up and arrow key to the right. Then let's say I want this one, control D, arrow key, arrow key. I'm always holding shift when I arrow key so that it um, jumps 10 at a time. Then let's see, probably need to have a split. Maybe I need to open this door up right here so they can go one of two different ways. Now I will copy these three, control D, arrow key up, arrow key left. Might as well copy again. Um, control V. Let's see, how can I make them go through this? Uh, I think I'll just kind of make some random stuff happen here. I'll put one there. Control D. Um, control D. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This is going to be a pretty obvious dead end. Control D there, probably Control D that one. And then maybe I'll do Control D on this. Arrow key up. Yeah. Now let's do Control D, arrow key this way, Control D, Control D, Control D. And I guess we'll have them split off. I'll do Control D. That. and essentially you, I'm, I'm hoping you get the idea at this point so that you can carry on without me having to complete the entire thing that would make for a long video but um, I'll keep working a little longer here I guess I should probably close off that so if they go that way, they you don't have just a, like two ways to get to the same place. So yeah, um, this could probably, or maybe I'll do this. I'll go Control D, arrow key over, 
the whole holding shift while you arrow key is what's making this so easy. Hold the. Maybe I'll open this up and have this be there and there. Yeah, it's pretty pretty handy doing the Control D trick. Control D. Control D. All right. So let's see. They go this way. They go that way. I guess I need to probably seal that off and make it a dead end so that we don't just have a redundancy of two ways to get to the same place here. So, and I might need to start being a little bit more circuitous in my um, paths so that it can be more deceiving which way to go. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video because at this point it's just a matter of me cleverly picking paths and as far as the technique of building this thing, you see what I think is the most beneficial strategy, which is using control D and then holding shift as you arrow key around much easier than trying to, um, manipulate these walls with the mouse cursor or a trackpad of course would be even worse all right so that's how i would go about making a maze